Hello everybody, Chris Grant here again. Today I just wanted to do a discussion on Hal Leonard books. So what is Hal Leonard? They're a big music publishing company. Uh, you can go to their website and find out more about them. But basically most of the sheet music and books you see in the music stores or online come from the Hal Leonard Company. They're kind of a monopoly on, you know, sheet music. I, I don't even know of any other companies that are out there. There might be, but they're the most well known. So the question is, is are they any good? Are their books any good? So it's kind of a tough question to answer. Um, uh, they have a lot of artist books like, you know, Elton John, Billy Joel, all the rock groups, Christian music, everything. And um, I kind of take it on a case by case basis. You know, if I'm working on a piece out of one of their books, and it sounds right, and I compare it to the original music. Um, a lot of times what you're getting is what I call a piano solo transcription. In other words, they're transcribing the melody line into the music. It's not really what's being played in the studio. It's what you would play if you're piano soloing somewhere or, you know, doing a recital and when, and you're playing the melody line of the piece of the, of the music. So like I said, it's kind of on a case by case basis, whether I think the transcription was done well or not. Um, I've discovered that they do have mistakes in the transcription, notational errors here and there. Also, you know, the transcriptions might not be that great. You know, they might have the wrong chord or, you know, the bass line is not really written right. Or I guess it depends on what the transcriber was going for when they you know, listen to the music and what they wanted to kind of glean out of the recording. So they offer a variety of different types of books. They don't just have artist compilations. They also have instructional books and, you know, see different kind of series. They even have like books that are supposedly what was played in the original studio versions of the music. So they do have a lot of books and it's really hard to just say whether or not as a whole they're any good. I think you have to like look at each piece on a case by case basis. And, uh, for the purposes of this channel, I play the ones that I think are transcribed better. Um, you know, like in the 100 Greatest Rock Song book, not every one of those pieces to me is transcribed that great. Uh, some, some of them have me scratching my head, like did a piano player even really transcribe this? Because it's like, it's, they're so awful, some of them. But I'm going to have a series, I'm thinking about having a series on transcribing your own music. You know, if you hear a piece of music that you like and transcribing it yourself, and there's a lot of benefit to that, uh, which I will get into when I start doing that. And you could also compare your transcription to what the Hal Leonard you know what their version is if you have their version so there's a lot you can do uh, if you decide to transcribe the music yourself um, so I think some of the better Hal Leonard books are the instructional ones and maybe the ones that are like 
that have classical music, such as this one. So, the reason why I say that is because the classical music, you know, is written by the masters and a lot of it's piano music and it's played by the masters and it's, you know, I'm guessing that it's annotated by them. So it's, to me, it's kind of like written by piano players for piano players. So I tend to think that those classical books are better as far as the quality of the sheet music. So I just wanted to discuss this because I use a lot of samples out of the Hal Leonard books in my videos. I don't sponsor them, I'm not sponsored by them, and I don't endorse them. They're kind of the only place to go to to get sheet music. They're kind of a monopoly. So I just wanted to bring that up and we'll see you next time.